fe female. Because of the female anatomy, she does not get stunned after receiving a blow to the groin. Wait. I can get kicked in the groin in this game? Wait. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And welcome to... Actually, wait. Let's go to the game store page right away. Materialization of memories. Basically... And I, I swear to God, I can't even remember how I was informed about this game. I swear I was given an email, but I can't find it. I tried checking my Twitter DMs, couldn't find I swear I was told about this game, and I genuinely can't find it. So if the developer let me know about the game, I swear to God they did, and they offered me a key. I couldn't find it, so I was just like, eh, fuck it. And I, I just bought the game. As you can see in the game store page, though, it has furries. And it's inspired by Fear and Hunger. So there's a few things I, I really do feel like I have to say. <laughs> One is, it's a shame about the reviews, because it does at least look like there's at least, you know, actual effort put into this. I mean, come on, just look at this. You you have sharks. I mean, there's got to be a lot of furries who might probably love this. So we're going to have to give it a try. And for the Fear and Hunger fans, the only thing I guess I can say for now is, no, I haven't dropped Fear and Hunger Termina. I'm just still burned out right now. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, and I hope this isn't going to be viewed spiritually as a betrayal, because if this is Fear and Hunger-like and an RPG game, I could see where some people would be like, Nico, why are you starting a new game instead of playing and finishing Termina first? It's a good question. Don't get me wrong, it's a very good question, but it's... I just go with the flow. I haven't dropped it, so that's at least good enough, but we're going to try this new game and see where it goes, and then we'll just, we'll, we'll just go from there. So let's just start. Research Institute Ray. Well, where is he? Maybe he went to the bathroom. It's more likely he went to the canteen to waste food. Hi. Why aren't you on duty? I went to the bathroom. I said bathroom really weird. Why didn't you lock the front door then? Uh, okay, could you go to the test room for a few minutes? I need to do a little experiment. I can't leave my post. You just left. Just close the door and come with us. No one will know. If you want, I'll bring you something tomorrow. I'd rather eat something good. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Experiment. Why are you going to do an experiment on him? Why not on uh, the test subjects. Broom. It's for my research paper. I'm not allowed to log it. And I need someone who hasn't been in the emitter before. Alexander, you don't mind, do you? Eh, no, I don't care, but why did you bring her in? She'll need to record your medical parameters before and after the experiment. She'll also be able to help you if you get hurt. You didn't say he might need help. I don't think it will be necessary, just a precaution. She's giving me a like, passive-aggressive vibes already, man. Alexander, go into that room and stand on the square in the center. Don't get off it yet. I won't tell you. Or, I'll tell you when, I assume is what they meant. Marla, can you... I'll wait here. Okay, then let's do it. What kind of testing? Uh, someone knocked out the calibration, but that's okay. I'll calibrate it myself. I remember there should be a green setting. Oh... Uh, they're all green, so it should be dark green. I don't think... It, it, there's no way to screw this up, right? Because this feels like a job for Nico brute forcing. So what if I hit 220? Ouch, my mistake. Alexander, are you okay? Yeah. What? No, you're not okay. Look at you. Don't touch... It, are all the answers bad answers? Don't touch, let me treat it. I made a calibration mistake after all I have to compensate you, I guess. Whatever. Alvis, why would you risk him? He's an employee of the Research Institute, and besides and besides that, your friend. He's not my friend, and it shouldn't have happened. It couldn't have been hit that hard, and the light was gone. Man, the floor tiles have even crumbled somehow. Look closely, the room has changed. You're right. We should check what's outside. Huh. Okay, can we just save? Let me check out the controls and everything. Escape? Escape button. It's a very military-esque looking uh, uniform on uh, Elvis, but all right. Uh, we have, let's see, if it's fear and hunger wise, the Z and X key aren't the use in act, like are Z and X usually are action and cancel key and it not being in the game is really messing with me. So wait, let me see, controls, 
shoot. Ah, wait. Z is shoot. Oh, they can all shoot. Ma shoot M for Marna. Al for Alvis and A for the other guy whose name I don't... Alexander. So they all can shoot like you can in Termin of them, but all of them can. Interesting. What items do we got? I guess we can't use Z and X. I have to be sure not to waste... Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a moment where I'm just going to waste a crap... Ooh, a pit pistol. Waste a lot by hitting the Z key when I meant action key, but I had to hit the enter key or escape for cancel instead. Uh, so let's see, we have some bandages, we have 36 ammo for the pistol, a surgical kit, uh, individual sterile dressing bag seems to heal plus 7 body and remove bleeding, as you'd expect even from fear and hunger, mini first aid kit, outdated regular means of providing assistance in case of injuries, so it removes anomalous influences and energy and body, surgical kit, Disposable for treating wounds. This can only be used with surgical skills. Interesting. T for body. A what? T concentrate. Harmful to health, but gives a lot of power. Huh. As far as I know, too, the developer is from Ukraine. So interesting amount of cultural um, insertions, I guess, will be in the game that I uh, get to learn. A can of stewed whale meat. Very nutritious. Alexander eats only them as a rule. So it's like... Unless I'm completely wrong, is this supposed to be like heroin? <laughs> is for the... Uh, what's the character's name in Fear and Hunger Termina? Crap. Uh, I can't even remember the character's name. The, the, the heroin guy. God, I can't remember his name. But yeah, this... Like, only eats... So... Wait, plus two. Wait, if I hit... Hmm, huh? well, I mean, sure. All right, whatever. Uh, so we have weapons, I'm not sure. Wait, important. A book where goals and tutorials are written down. Okay, well, yeah. Let's let's get outside on the street. Oh, so they tell us what our main objective is. That's cool. Side jobs. It keeps, our, it keeps track of side jobs, too. That's cool. Which section? Let's do some reading. It can be dangerous to run in on unfamiliar routes. You should always be aware of anomalies. It's always a good idea to check hiding places for supplies. It's also useful to use lockpicks to sneak into houses. Okay. Founded supplies in the Create tab can be used. Okay. So we should try making as many lockpicks as possible and sneak into houses, but... If it's going to be a fear and hunger game, we can determine, obviously, though, not all houses uh, are equal, both in loot and probably in enemies. Like, just having done Fear and Hunger Termina probably now three months ago, the Mold House. It's just going to make me think something like that's going to happen, probably. Uh, tutorial. Combat. In turn-based combat, you can attack the enemy in different parts of the body. Uh, injuries to certain parts reduce the opponent's overall torso health and stats, uh, and prevent them from using attacks bound to those limbs. To destroy the enemy, you need to bring the enemy health torso to zero. Like Fear and Hunger. If the character has a firearm equipped, then the usual attack is a blow with a butt. If you have ammo, then you'll have the ability to fire weapon. You can also fire weapons while on the map, which I'm blatantly going to do. R is to check the approximate number of cartridges. Or I guess ammo left. We're gonna have to try that out and see who who's who uses the pistol best if there's differences. And then just make sure someone's using it, of course. There are many anomalies around. As a rule, they are located on unclean places, such as cracks, cracks, bloodstains, fallen leaves. Fallen leaves? Fallen leaves is unclean? What? Huh? You people in Ukraine see, like, fallen leaves is unclean? Man, someone hasn't raked these leaves for a long time. Oh, the street's getting out of hand. Oh, that's a joke, but strange. For un fallen leaves. Maybe it's like mutated leaves. I don't know. Any anomalies can be identified by the detector. As it emits a signal near the anomaly. So that's that, like Silent Hill, I guess? How however, while running, this can be overlooked. An anomalous zones the detector does not notify about. Wait, 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 wait. While running. An anomalous zones the detector does not notify about anomalies themselves. The. 
Fauci? <laughs> Fossi? What the fuck is F-O-C-I? Uh, whatever. The something. I guess that the, maybe that's the tool that detects the anomalies? Uh, they can only be determined visually. The detectors highlights matter, and if any inside the anomalous zones, most of the anomalous, anomalous zones gradually reduce the health of the characters. Is that... Is it like stalker games? Maybe? Maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure what kind of influences besides fear and hunger this has, uh, whatever the store page tells. Injuries. Ugh, if they drop to zero, they'll faint. If the health of all- Oh, wait! If the character's health, they will faint, not die. If the health of all three drop to zero, then the group dies. Ah, oh, that's more Final Fantasy oriented then. I wonder if we can also suffer limb loss, so just like in Fear and Hunger. So one thing that's the most stressful thing about Fear and Hunger is, oh hey, there's so many enemies that want to cut my fucking limbs off and make me permanently disabled unless I use very, very, like, limited amounts of the, uh, what were they called? The symbols on the ground to heal. I still remember all that stuff. Like I st still remember all the Fear and Hunger stuff, so that's good. <laughs> so when I get back into it, I won't be like, what am I doing? Because I still remember. Fear and Hunger, the school is a great place to rush into to get books and learning and items, as long as you avoid combat. You know, shit like that. And, and the mold room is easy, too. So, yeah, at least I remembered most things. Uh, but let's see. If the character fell, then you need to approach and bring him to his senses, but the injuries remain. Also, various opponents can impose negative statuses. Some disappear with time, and some will have to be treated with special medicine. Possible statuses, that is, fatigue reduces his stats if stamina is zero. We'll have to check out the stamina then. Uh, blood loss reduces the characteristics or traits of the character after losing consciousness, eliminated by transfusion of saline. The more injuries a character gets, the more their stats drop. Wounds are treated with military first aid kit or surgical kit. Poisoning reduces attack and stamina. Infection reduces protection. Maximum and maxim maximum health and stamina and attack. Is that a reduction or a debuff on the bottom? Oh god. Protect okay, maybe these are buffs included. Protection, abnormal attack, anomalous protection, agility, and luck. Hmm. Well, at least I'm learning. And skills. Series of hits. Inflects three hits. Oh, that's a useful image. Each hit deals 70% of normal damage. Grasping. Are these are all the abilities? Deals 100. How many do we have? This is, see that um, this is this would that would take me forever. I'll, I'll just learn that as we go. But I wanted to. Can I save? Create. Create item. Uh. Stimulator. Oh god, there's so much... There's no lockpicks. Hmm, we have to find... Wait, create matter. Create matter? What the hell do they mean? Uh, cologne? Makes you immune to poison? Laundry soap? Reduces... Bl Laundry soap reduces blindness chance? Ice tray reduces chance of burning. Uh, okay. Huge syringe. Just looking at it makes you feel better. Syringe plus electrical components? What? Encyclopedia. Lucky coin. Still no lockpick. Weird, but alright, that's interesting enough, I guess. Uh, formation should be fine. Equip. Overcoat, weapon, pistol, it's plus 25. Making sure, like, sorry, this is the start of the first 10 minutes of the game, and a lot of me is just, like, just going through all the characters and be like, hmm, yes. Wait, she has a scalpel. So I'm guessing she'll be, wait, let me check her skills then. Can she use the surgical kit? Restores 30 health and removes bleeding. I can help even without medicines. That's even their little quip in there. Slap. Removes negative effects from teammates during combat. Deals damage to a random target. Wait, what? And deals damage to a random target? So wait, you slap your friend and an enemy? <laughs> Fe female. Because of the female anatomy, she does not get stunned after receiving a blow to the groin? Wait. I can get kicked in the groin in this game? Wait. There are enemies in this game... ...that try to kick me in the balls? 
that's a feature in the game? I mean, mm -hmm. seals up wounds. I mean, they're useful abilities. Do any of these characters have... Okay, this guy is... Gain attack up and defense for down. Deals 100 damage to the target and prevents them from moving for three turns. Big teeth are good, also good weapons. Rifleman. Alexander is excellent with firearms. Mm, that's what I was looking for. I wanted to know who would be the best to give the gun to. But if I don't want to use the gun, he's actually he's also good with melee combat. So Alexander is useful. Causes enemies to attack you for three turns. I don't know if he's a good tank, though. Two random hits that reduce the target's agility and health. I can unbalance... Anyone with my stupidity, I'm told so. Okay, and this guy is... Defense and evasion are increased by three turns, but attack is weakened. I will not risk myself in vain. Increases accuracy and gives uh, a critical damage for 100 steps and ends after combat. Interesting. 100 steps especially, wouldn't that just like basically last an entire fight? I have to use that basically every fight. Could be OP, unless I'm reading it wrong. A flash that reduces enemies' hit chance for three turns. Honestly, this guy's abilities look like they'd be... overpowering, if anything. Increases party's defense by 50%. It all depends on how many 300 step... How, like, what is steps in RPG... RPG logic, I'm trying to think. This is going to be a very weird and almost... Hope, hopefully not boring thing. I'm trying to contemplate all this thing. It's why I, I suck at games like Fear and Hunger, because I do this amount of thinking like, hmm, uh, hmm, oh. It's staying in the materialization zones affected Alvis. He can absorb energy from four matters. Huh. Sounds like it could be lore related of why he has this ability then, I guess. Otherwise, yeah, you get the gun. Even though you're good at melee, but I guess you can use his pistol butt. Whatever. Detector. Hmm. Alright, well, we got a pistol, and he's holding the pistol, even. Nice. And hit, hitting the X key will shoot. And we can't save. So we're gonna have to still find a save point, or what save points even look like in this game. So we're told to stand in this room. Hmm. Metal parts. Now that we're actually in the gameplay, I'm curious, is fucking this up just like predetermined, I'm wondering? Like, what if I go back and try it again, but try every answer? A part of me thinks it'll be the same result every single time. Like, the it messing up is just part of the story, basically. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure it out maybe afterwards, after finding a save. So we'll see. Ah, uh, that looks like a death trap. Can't search these? What? Lockers? No! I can't search the lockers. Okay. Hm. Wait. He can gain energy that way, right? Let me make sure... Oh! Alexander's energy is going down. Uh, interesting. I think we have to rush through it. Electrical components. Can I... Okay. Energy. Health didn't go down, but his energy did. Interesting. What is that? It's obviously not broken wiring. Don't get too close. This is a materialization effect, isn't it? If this is happening here... Why wasn't there an evacuation announcement? It's a phenomenon they learned to anticipate a long time ago, and it's as if the premises have aged a couple of years. Maybe we're in the future. This is unlikely. The emitter, even at full power, could not form a zone of materialization, even time shifts. This sounds... Uh, time? Oh no. The story is going to be overly complicated, isn't it? Even time shift. I'm not. I'm not dissing the game. Just letting you know. No one would allow me to conduct such an experiment. Yeah, I mean the power did go out. I mean, unless you drained all the electricity in the entire grid or something. Who knows? Let's get out of here. I feel like those lightning bolts are about to rush in our direction. Don't panic. I've been in zones before when I was doing research. 
just do as I say, and the first thing I ask, Alexander, get your gun ready, you're a security guard, you should have a gun. I think I left it on the table, oh no, there it is. <laughs> Two steps ahead. Wait. Hold page down for skip dialogue, useful to know, and shift for slow step. I mean, do I, should I slow step? I think we should just rush through that. We took damage there. Where's the enemies at? I wanna... <laughs> what? It's just... Ah, okay. Well, that's... <laughs> okay, the game is... Uh, can I get anything else? We don't have enough mini first aid kits. Uh, let's hope that goes away over time. Or else we're going to be dying really quickly. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Such creatures appear based on the emotions and experiences of those who lived in the place where the zone was formed. There may be mutants, or there may be something quite amorphous. I note that the most dangerous among them are the intelligent ones. I personally have not seen, and I hope will not see. Dude, it's crawling over there. <laughs> the character is equipped with firearms he can shoot while on the map. Yeah. If you have turn-based com- wait. If you enter turn-based combat with a weapon and ammo equipped, character gains the shot skill. A normal attack will mean hitting with the butt of the weapon. Yeah. Okay, shoot. No, shoot. Wait, I hit this- I shot him twice. Well, let's check it out. A leech appears from the shadows. Hmm. I shot him twice, and almost ironically, there is two shots at him. So let's see. But I'm hitting the Z key, which should be for Alvis. But the gun is on Alexander, so I mean, we already have a problem here, unless the AL is... I mean, it should be, like, in order, though. It should be Alvis, Alexander, Marna... But, eh, whatever, let's see. Uh, let's see. Skills, keep distance. Oh yeah, the, the, um, weak point. Wait. I can't use it? Why not? We'll blind it. And we'll try attacking and just attacking. 34, 32. Oh. It gets more wounded the more... Nice blindness. Let's just attack. How much fucking health does this leech have? The hell? Die! It's just a leech. Oversized or not. Get back to goddamn Penumbra series. Alvis and his party are victorious. Do we get experience in this game? Probably not. And we're also... Okay, you know what? I'm... Fuck it. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Let's... Let's, uh... Let's, let's bandage people up a little bit. Uh... Wait. Okay. Perform on- wait, let's see. Autopsy. You have received a creature report. What? Creature report. The leech notes that describe the characteristic uh, characteristics and skills of the enemy. Oh. A leech, a huge slimy creature capable of secreting a poisonous substance with its glands and spitting. Sometimes they attack in groups. Hey, it tells me how much health they have. Well, that's useful. Okay. It just means then I'll know, hey, if I have a powerful weapon, I know how much damage I can do in, let's say, three turns. Or just one turn with the whole party. Then at least I know what to look for. Information or knowledge is power in these kinds of games. Damage values do not include armor. Its bite attack does 35 damage, its acid spitting does 40 damage, plus poisoning and weakening. Poison bite, which it didn't do, is 40 damage plus poison, and lowers 10% accuracy. Oh, interesting. Well, we learned. The question I want to learn then is if Marna will recover from... Stop! Not a step forward. Look closely at the place where the tiles on the floor are broken. It's barely perceptible. Uh, it's barely perceptib perceptibly pulsing. You can die if you get in one of those. You have to look forward carefully. I can't see anything there. Why are you yelling? And how was I supposed to notice it? I have a device at home that... At home? 
that allows you to identify such places uh, with sound. If you find it, then our chances of su surviving and getting out will increase. It's only a couple of blocks away. I'm... I think it's, uh, you just want to get your own thing. I know you're willing to kill yourself for your inventions, but don't drag us down with you. I just want to get out of here. It won't be any time soon. We don't know the exact size of the zone. Maybe it only covered the building, which I doubt. Ugh. Which I doubt. Or maybe the whole island. Or maybe the neighbors too. We're on an island? We'll come out and see. Don't think so globally. Yes, but first we have to get to the device. I live in the tallest house in the neighborhood. Oh, aren't you important? And from the roof, it'll be easier to assess the criticality of the situation. Okay. Uh huh. If we have to go, uh, if we have to go far, it'll really help us. Going out again. All right. Well, I hope there's at least a lunch break. Quite the optimist, aren't you? But this just verifies. I guess what I know what they mean by. I think that's just Martin getting hurt some more. That. Um, I guess I know what they mean by cracks in the floor. Like, disturbances are dangerous, but it definitely reinforces my belief that it's, like, inspired by things like Stalker. So, you know what? We'll play the game like it's the old saying. I'm not sure if it's something that, ha like, people would sing. You know, when you're a kid, again, I'm not sure if it's, like, a global thing. It's just like, what was it? Does the, the child rhyme where it's just like, you do skips on a sidewalk and it's something 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 step on a crack break your mother's back kind of thing we're going to play the game like that we're not going to step on any crack at risk we break our mother's back okay these are cracks we're just going to avoid them what what is that noise be quiet it's quiet <laughs> be quiet it's quiet well yeah because you told everyone to be quiet <laughs> just kidding let's hurry up and get out is there something dangerous Uh, what? Goblins? Can I do an autopsy? I just look at them. Hey, look. His arm is ripped off. What kind of power does it take to... There's something in the hall. Who could have done that? <laughs> Me! Uh, are you here to evacuate us? Do you understand us? I totally understand. An edgy shark! Or something. Stay away. Uh, alright, we can't shoot him. Uh, the smell of over-drinking almost knocks you off your feet. Oh no, they've been chugging too much vodka. No! Uh, I don't know if I'm prepared, but... And also, is that... Is that like a rocket shell in their hand or something? Is, is that like an explosive device they got? And a knife in the other? Um... Please. Commandment... Hands. Wait. Commandment body. Hand. Wait. But the hand. It says hands. Hands. Both hands? It kind of highlights their knife hand when it says body, though. It, it's. I don't get the, the, the system. Like, it says commandment body, but it's also highlighting one shin, two feet, their arms? And one of their hands? I'm not sure if that's a visual bug or not. And commandment hands shows one hand, but only the forearm? I'm gonna assume it's both hands. So, yeah. Let's try to play carefully here. Increase attack, defense, and agility for three turns. Defense and evasion are increased. Might as well do both of these, honestly. On the user, skill, series of blows, risky pistol shot. Fire pistol at the target deals 50 damage. Two random hits, taunt. Wait, deal 100 damage to the target and prevents them from moving for three turns. Might as well try. Do it in the body. And Marina, first aid. Okay. Rocket! I, I knew it. it uh, okay. Nut! How many turns did they just do? And they kicked Marna in the nuts? Okay. Um, this is going well. I wasn't able to bite them, and I'm dying already. Um, okay, blind. And uh, slap? You can slap the... Well, we don't have negative effects. Uh, uh, they pull out and... They pull out and cocked a grenade? The unpinned a grenade? It 
it's not even interesting with you. I expected real resistance. There's no lust for life in you. Except for that green one. Come on, get up. What do you want from us? Okay, this is an unwinnable fight. I was about to say, am I getting a game over now? What? <laughs> I was about to say, this it's a scripted moment. Okay. Is my goal obvious, dearie? Alcohol. I came here looking for alcohol. If I don't find him, I'll go into real rage. I will drain the blood and shit out of you. Why do you want to drain the shit out of me? And I will drive the alcohol out of you? I'm not made of alcohol. There should be... So there should definitely be alcohol on the second floor in the room with the red door. Then move your ass and bring it, and I'm waiting. <laughs> Bruh, you got beaten the shit out of... Over fucking alcohol. Over alcohol. Willow. Marna, you're a doctor, you have surgical skills. Treat her wounds. Give me a moment to recover. Marna has the skills of wound care and saline transfusion of the group has... Okay. So we... I really just gotta find a save. His gun was broken by hand. I see finger dents on the case. Okay, let's see if we can... Saline treatment. Seals up wounds and restores health out of combat. A surgical kit is required. D does, it, does it mean it uses, like... Wait. Can I... Surgical... How many do I have? We have three surgical kits. Okay, that's perfect. The problem I have is... Blood loss. Removes blood loss. But I need this. Who should I... Oh, okay. This is how it works. Okay. Okay. I get it. Because then I do that, and then I hit them on self, and then... Uh, okay. We'll just keep doing the exact same thing, then. And... Marna. Excellent. Now we're all healed. It's interesting, though, that, um... I don't know if there's a dismemberment system, but I do... I can appreciate the detail of, like, you... The more an enemy is wounded, the more grieves... Like, grievous their wounds actually visually look. Like, the with the leech, for instance, it's like, I was beating it so much that it's like... You'll know they're close to death based on how they physically or visually look. I can appreciate they, that. I can appreciate that attention to detail, because that's something that even Fear and Hunger doesn't have. But what I really want is uh, obviously a save. <laughs> Hello. A complaint to the director and black caviar. Ooh. So I'm not sure if I should just avoid clicking these things, because unlike Fear and Hunger, these aren't interactable. Which is at least good in terms of saving time. Like, they're just... They're literally just assets. But, let's see. Can I just run? Or... Is this an exit or an elevator? I'll presume that's an elevator. Because otherwise, the only thing we can search, I probably in this entire room, is something like these little boxes. Everything else... I think is just... Not things you can touch, so... Eh, whatever. Uh, uh, don't make me mad. Look for alcohol or I'll make it out of you. Oh, okay. So they're waiting there. We can't even read that note. Uh. Fuck. Um, let's do it quickly then. Okay, good. Oh, wait, we could just have been here. Okay, that's good. We'll collect as many items, honestly, as we can, and stay away from those fucking purple crystals and that circle, which apparently could kill us. We gotta be careful. Hmm. Wait, what? To the right. Coffee cloth. Okay, good items. Just gotta make sure we genuinely uh, avoid those purple gems, the circles. I'm not sure if the black shit, like the skid marks on the floor, is, um... I'm not sure if it's dangerous or not, or if that's the sound of just being near the, uh... Like, is this dangerous, or is that an item? I don't know, man. Hmm. No idea. Let me search around a little bit more. I'm gonna also patch up people's energy, because we have a lot of items probably now. Eh, chemical components... Good for crafting, cloth, 
piece of fabric. Probably can tear from other things. Ooh, black caviar is also good for energy. Probably wasted there, but anyways. Let me see if I can what other stuff I can find on this floor. Okay, up the stairs. Second floor. More stuff. I'm definitely going to be moving a lot, like, carefully, though. Rather not. Mm. Oh, little hand. Uh, hands come running from everywhere surrounding you. Gross. Fucking Adam's family kind of uh, hands coming at us. But you know what? We're going to just... Should I just attack, or should I really prepare? Blind, no. Defense and evasion. But attack is weakened. You know, yeah. Let's try that. Skills. Pistol shot. Marna. Eh, attack the same. 37. Nice! Nice! Okay, they're not that strong. Excellent. Yeah, just attack it. Nice! Oh, wait, the hands are gone. I wanted to try to see if I could salvage them or not. Advanced 8 kit. Nice, nice. But where the hell am I going now, freak? Uh, I don't trust that at all. I'd rather find a save point first. Like, seriously, where, what, what is a save point? Hmm? Moving circles. Um, where's the, where's the box? Right over there. Nope. At least I don't have to really search anywhere else in that goddamn room. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Hm. Uh, let's just rush. Me. Nice. It's kind of, it's really weird though, but eh, whatever. I'm finding a lot of interesting things. Oh, a <laughs> glowy book. What a weird book. <gasps> Wait, is it a save point? It looks like a duty log. We signed here. Here's my signature, but I don't remember it. I don't see how that's possible. I didn't sign either, but can we sign again? I had the same desire. I've heard of these. Those who signed up for them said that for a short time, they became calmer and their fear disappeared. True, there is a risk of psychosis from mood swings, but it's insignificant. Mood swings? It's so peaceful. I wish I could interact with these books more often. We have to look around a bit more. We could just save? What is that that guy's mentioning? Is it some kind of like... It... By the way they expressed it, it almost made it sound like... And I'm not sure if I'd be accurate or if I'd just be completely off, but if anyone's played Final Fantasy VII, it made me think of the whole story where in Final Fantasy VII... Spoiler alert! The more you use summons... You know, like Ifrit and Shiva in the Final Fantasy VIII universe, the more it seemed to make the main character's memories get erased, the more they rely on the power of summons, was a plot element in Final Fantasy VIII that I remember. Even though I'm a person that only like, basically played 90% of Final Fantasy VIII and never beat it, but I still kind of remember. It made me think, like, just using this, like, cost, like, it makes you feel calm, but there's consequences? Briefly, this could be consequences, but insignificant, so the character says. Questionable. And a worm. What if I just shoot the fucking worm? I shot a, like, a fuck. A leech. I shot a. Oh, oh, yeah, there's the damage. We'll just punch it. Let's try to. I'd be curious and have to check. It's still alive. Like, how many bullets in the hub world does it take then to kill a 250 health enemy is a good question because then i can determine how many bullets in the hub world does it take like if it's like 10 shots then i'll know how much damage each bullet does but it depends if it's the bullets in the hub world if it's a minimum and maximum damage variable you know kind of thing i have to keep those things in mind jesus critical hit very nice it didn't look like it took a lot of damage. I'm not crazy. I definitely saw the stool turn into that nasty thing. This is, this is quite possible here, and I'm afraid it's going to get more interesting. 
Won't it resurrect? You said that all creatures will eventually materialize again. No, it won't. At least not now. At least not until the next outbreak, and they won't don't happen that often. We will either be dead or far away by then. How optimistic. What's that outbreak? I'll explain later. Let's hurry. That's interesting, but we won't die of hunger, though, right? Definitely not. We definitely won't be having to fear about hunger. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I already know everything about this creature. Ah, oh, she dissected it, I see. And it's denatured de alcohol. It's lethal to drink. It's better if he dies. There's still a lot of junk. We could do something useful, like something to treat wounds, or we will not last long. In the menu, create tab, you can create useful items. Ooh. <gasps> Lockpick. I'm gonna leave. Wait, let me check the lockpicks before, before we end the episode, because I already saved it. Lockpick. A lockpick for opening simple locks. I have two of them. We still have... Oh, we have a lot of things to read. And... Create... Was lockpicks added? Saline... Oh god. It uses a lot of chemical components, but we do have a lot of cloth and metal parts that don't seem to be used a lot. Injector with a special drug that improves well-being can be used in combat. That's... That's too vague. Pistol ammo can be made with... Ooh, chemical components and metal parts. But then the question, let, let's let's do some experiments. One quantity... Okay, it's literally one bullet. Okay, never mind. Shotgun might have a lot more use. That's enough procrastinating. I wanted to experiment a few things, and now I'm more... At least knowledgeable what I can, can't do. The world is still kind of confusing. Like, it's fear and hunger mixed with stalker, mixed with sharks. European sharks, rather. <laughs> but it's interesting. But let me know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts down below? Should I continue? What are your thoughts on the game? Is it interesting to you? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed, though, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a full subscriber, and the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Um.